from hell. Let's have some beer. Oh, what? Be going down, people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got something pretty freaking special right here. This is a bottle of Firewood. I believe it's the first bourbon barrel aged stout that has been produced by Trestle Brewing out of Perry Sound, Ontario. It comes at a 10.5% ABV. Thank you so much to my sister Erin for procuring this bottle for me. I've actually told her to possibly procure some more. Apparently it's, it was a small, very limited run. I think they only had like maybe 12 barrels, which is enough, but yeah, apparently it was selling pretty fast. So, um... I've been looking forward to this ever since I went to the brewery, uh, I think it was in the spring, and saw the barrels. And I was like, is your Imperial Stout in there? And they were like, yes it is. And I was like, oh my god, I must have that, and I now have that. So without further ado, let's crack this open. Black bottle cap, nothing we're going to see there. Oh, the excitement level is pretty freaking high. Let's see what we've got. Like, the Bragload Imperial Stout that Trestle makes is... It's up there. My favorite kind of non-barrel-aged Imperial Stouts. Um, I didn't really do the uh, proper thumbnail thing there, did I? It's all good. I'll figure something out. That's got some nice-looking head to it. And um, I'm assuming color-wise, I mean light-wise, you're not going to get any light at all. No, not even around the edges. Nothing. Nothing. Black as the night. Oh. Yeah, the bourbon is coming through. Uh, I don't know what the bourbon, like where they exa where exactly they came from, like company-wise, but they came from Kentucky, which I believe is kind of world renowned for some of the best bourbons not being not a fan of bourbon myself but when you do stuff with bourbon oh yeah that smells like just bourbon maybe a little bit like a, a hint of coffee and a hint of chocolate it smells potent let's give her a shot That is really smooth. Like my sister and uh, her husband, my brother-in-law, I guess they had a bottle this evening as well, split between them, I think, and she sent me a text with a picture saying, holy crap, this is strong. But it is strong, but I think she got, I guess, the booze and the taste. I'm getting nothing. Nothing but like roasty, chocolatey, coffee, lingering bitterness and just all accentuated by that kind of bourbon character. This is flocking glorious. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And so many cheers to you, Aaron. I love you. The sweetness is really nice. It almost seems like it's got lactose in it or something. Water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. I can see the ingredients right here. 2019. That's all you need for a beer like this. It had the wax top. This is weird wax that you use, Trestle. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, once I finally got it going, it peeled off pretty nice, but the first little bit was like, no, no, you're not getting into me. Not as bad as Nickelbrook, not as good as Lock Street. Like, just a, I don't know if you thought of it, but the little hint, kind of, what they do at Lock Street. I've never seen anybody else do it, but before they dip the cap in wax, they have like a little piece of fabric, and they put it on top, and they kind of bring it down the side, then they dip it, so it has a pull tab. The most amazing thing I've ever seen as far as a wax top goes, and just, you know, constructive criticism if you want to maybe do that next time. But, uh, TrestleBrewing.com will bring you to TrestleBrewing.com. Go there. Now, not so much now go there and sit in the patio. It's currently, uh... November 29th, so it's a little on the chilly side, but yeah, see, summertime, 
They've got a really, really nice patio and then the whole other like beer garden, which is just a, basically a whole other patio down below. And they got this giant garage door they can open up and yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice place. It's done a lot for the city of Perry Sound. Like the, the people coming in and like during the summer, packed basically all day, every day. And they're making some really, really nice beers. Like there's this, there's the Bragg Load, non-barrel-aged version of this stout. There are 30,000 30, Islands IPA. I think the double is called the 60,000 Islands. I did like an on-location review of that. Then they got their hey, that hazy stuff they made. Yeah, man. Like, Paris Town kind of alternate hometown of mine North Bay grew up in Perry Sound McKellar kind of area but uh yeah really really happy for them it's awesome then this beer is fantastic like the chocolatey flavor is huge in this beer so flocking well done um ratings why not two people it says no ratings but two people have rated it on untapped one person gave it a two and a half out of five and one person gave it a three out of half, three out of five that's um disappointing the one guy said something bubblegum on the nose initially not even the slightest hints of of a thought of the indication of bubblegum at all pretty one-dimensional flavor though we'll buy one and put it in the cellar for a while and see what ha you can't you didn't even finish jason c i don't consider myself an expert by any means but you suck seriously one-dimensional flavor this has got so much flavor going on and so many flavors. Like I'm getting vanilla off of this as well. Oh. Like I feel like Blood of Cthulhu is one of my favorite beers in the world by Tata City. It's a Imperial Stout with berries and I feel like if you took this beer and made like a raspberry version or a cherry version or a blackberry version or something I think that would be astonishing this kind of is astonishing on its own but well, it took a bit of a bigger drink there and definitely a little bit a little tiny hint of the alcohol burn kind of warming this is Absolutely delightful. I know it wasn't on Beer Advocate, eh? No, nothing. It's there. I don't know how it's there with no ratings. That's kind of weird to me, but... It is what it is. Break time. Trestle. This is one of the best overall barrel-aged stouts I've ever had. This is so smooth and just delicious and like freaking good job it's warmed right up now took my sweet ass time drinking it and oh like that sweet chocolate flavor that is coming through with every drink and just lingering in my mouth like it's, it, I got like random chills kind of it's so freaking good. Aaron, sister of mine. It's not going to matter. Like, you're not going to hear it because this video is not going to come out for at least a month because my backlog of crap. But I really hope that she's able to get me. I think I told her to get me three more. I might message her tomorrow and be like, get me everything they have. <laughs> I think this, is, this was, uh, I believe she said $12 or something a bottle. It's expensive, but I've seen bourbon barrel aged stouts for like twice that price. I feel like it's it's completely within the realm of 
acceptable. So I currently said to get three, because Dan, uh, Booze Games Deep Thoughts, if I remember, I'll put it in the link to in the, him in the comments down below, why not? Um, he had sent me that beer mail, and I believe I've, ha I've had all the beers now, and I liked almost all of them, a whole lot. And uh, yeah, I'm, I want to get a bottle of this to put aside for him. I want to get a, a bottle of this to put aside for me and age it for like maybe a year or a bit. And then I want to get at least one more bottle just to drink because this is, this is fantastic, fantastic stuff. It's still, a big, it's a sipper and it works just perfectly as that. Like I said, if you take a bigger drink, the alcohol kind of burn comes through a little bit and you can get that warming. I mean, me, me personally anyway, you might not. Taste of subjective, flavor subjective, blah, 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 blah. I can't say subjective. I keep saying subjective. There's a V. Well, there's one V. There's not two Vs. Oh, my God. Trick number the last. Yeah. Trestle Brewing. Firewood. Your bourbon barrel aged version of Bragg Load is a goddamn 10. Like, there's no there's no way I can't give that a 10 out of 10. That is such a great... And again, it, it's so smooth. I can tell because my I'm kind of slurring my words a bit. I can't really say the things I want to say. I cannot enunciate properly, currently. That's like one of the first indicators that I can may, maybe get a bit tipsy. And I finished work this evening, had one beer, sitting on the couch there, watching some TV, and then this is the second one I cracked open. And it's doing it. Like, I feel like, is it maybe a bit higher than 10.5? Maybe? Possibly? Which is fine. I got no problem with that at all. Again, better deal, you know. But $12 something for this beer? I have zero issues with that. Except, like, again, like, you know, next time you wax off a beer. I, and I think uh, Lockstry also mixes their wax with hot glue. Which I feel like you might have done something like this. This came off a lot nicer than a Nickelbrook beer would. Like, but I don't know. I love your. I love the beer. I love a bunch of beer, and the, well, I love a bunch of beer that you make, as well as other beers. I love a bunch of beer, you know. But and the people at Trestle, I haven't met them all, but the ones I have met, including the owner, whose name I cannot think of off the top of my head. I love you all. And I, I, I totally forgot to wear my Trestle shirt while I did this. That's a freaking fail. Okay, you know what? The video is done. Subscribe, like, all that crap. This has been at least probably 12 minutes or so at this point. We're done. A piece of... Rambling. Sometimes I just start talking and then, like, it, it ram I feel it's rambling mixed with maybe some ADD where, like, I go off on tangents and stuff and then just... I'm talking about one thing and the tangents make that one thing become a talk that goes on for like 15 minutes. Sorry.